It's hardly a pumping metropolis. Australia's King Island, between the mainland and Tasmania, has more cows than people. But it's becoming a prototype for how islands the world over could be powered. Traditionally, small communities rely on diesel generators. King Island did. But there are now times the entire island is powered by renewable energy. That's the needs of 2,000 people and of industrial customers. King Islands includes a high-end cheese-making plant with the most power-hungry machinery on the island. So far, we've run the island up to seven and a half hours of purely wind energy powering the whole island. Total to date of about 150 hours. Ironically, renewable energy targets have been reached by keeping diesel in the mix while also deliberately wasting power. The traditional problem with wind power is that it's unreliable. Not enough and the lights can go out. But too much can be just as bad. A surge can trip the system. The breakthrough is combining two innovations, a responsive generator that only fires up and burns diesel when the power generated by the wind and the sun drops below demand, and a resistor which automatically taps off excess power when overperforming renewables threaten to overwhelm the system. What we achieve with the enabling technology is evening out the variability in those renewable natural energy sources. So the combination of those technologies is what makes this a winner. This screen shows the power mix coming in and the output demand is pulling out. Here, wind power generation would cover demand, but it's topped up with a little diesel anyway, in case a big customer turns on a big switch. The resistor pulls out the current excess and can quickly drain still more if the windmills suddenly turn much faster. The big hope is that the technology here can be rolled out to other small islands and remote communities currently dependent on diesel. Across the Pacific, there is plenty of fluctuating sun and wind. Harnessing it reliably could transform islands there even more than this one. Andrew Thomas, Al Jazeera, King Island, Australia.